Hey, what is up guys? This is FNH here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can create symbolic links in Windows. Alright, so if you guys don't know what symbolic links are, it's basically a shortcut but it's a lot more powerful. Okay, so you can think of it as a shortcut, right? Um, it kind of does the same thing on the front end side but behind the scenes it's a lot more powerful so one reason you would want to use a symbolic link rather than a uh, let's say a traditional shortcut is that symbolic links let, let's say for example um you know f some cloud services like uh, whether you're syncing to google play google drive or OneDrive or dropbox Right. Um, so those services, they only sync files and folders that are located in their own folder. OK, so if you have a folder of that on your desktop, you can't really have another folder of that on, let's say, your external drive. OK, so that's where symbolic links come in useful. And, you know, obviously using a regular shortcut will not fix that issue. All right, so it's really simple. What you want to do is just open CMD, right? And if it doesn't work um, like this, you might want to open it as administrator, right? Uh, but yeah, you, you'll see. Um, it, it works for some people, but I've noticed that some computers are required admin permissions. All right, so I have a file in my C drive right here, test.txt. Um, it says test in it. So I'm going to basically create a symbolic link for that and the way the syntax of it is MK link, right? And then the first path is basically the path where you want to copy it to. So in this case, I will copy it to my desktop. Okay, so that's my desktop and then where I'm getting it from, I'm getting it from the C drive. So C colon slash test dot txt. All right, so I'm getting the text file and I want to copy it to my desktop. So you can see there's nothing here. It probably will show up here. So let's create it. You can see symbolic link created for uh, these two locations. All right, and you can see when I open it up, it's basically the same thing. Um, you know, same file, similar to a shortcut, but you know, behind the scenes, it's very different. So keep that in mind. That's very useful. Um, you know, you can do not only files, but you can also do whole directories as well. And all you really need to do is just put the flag slash D, um, or it might be the other way, I believe, backslash. Yeah. So that basically, you do that. You can copy the whole directory. Uh, this is not a directory, so I probably will throw an error anyways. So yeah, um, you guys get the gist of it. So this is very useful when you want to work with files. Um, you know, you want to have the same exact file in different locations, right? Um, not only files, but folders as well. And they do not increase your sp um, hardware space. All right, so now for example, if I had a one gig folder in my C drive and I wanted to copy it to my desktop, it's not like it would be two gigs used on my computer anymore. It still will be one gig, but just behind the scenes, the computer, you know, you're kind of tricking the computer into thinking that the folder on the desktop is the folder that is located in my C drive. All right. So that's basically it. Um, very powerful stuff. Good to know. Definitely keep that, you know, um, knowledge useful. Um, so, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the description below. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Peace.